Tahniah siaran langsung ini dibawakan khas kepada anda oleh Akademi Youtuber Malaysia Inisiatif EDD Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia Tumpukan perhatian anda siaran langsung akan bermula sebentar lagi Link sijil dan SPL KPM akan diberikan di hujung siaran ini Pastikan diisi dalam tempoh yang ditetapkan Terima kasih Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to everybody who is watching right now First and foremost, my name is Madam Zappi And before we start with today's lesson, let me introduce you guys to all the teachers in the studio right now We have the very lovely Miss Ain Give a round of applause And we have Guru Maino in the studio And also Ustaz, oh, okay, Mu'alim Hazar, dia, dia punya nama glamour artist dia dah. <laughs> Alright, so how are you guys feeling today? Hopefully that everybody is doing awesome at home. Okay, some of you are already at home because of PKPT kan? So it's okay, it's okay. And some of you maybe baru je balik daripada sekolah. Letih lah, tapi hopefully dah mandi. Sempat kot makan tadi kan? Hmm, I can smell like chicken curry and udang sambal from here. Yummy. Wait, is that pizza on your table? Oh my god. All right, but anyway, without wasting any time, before we get on with our lesson today, um, with uh, just a little bit of announcement. Uh, untuk siapa yang tak tahu lagi, yang dah join kelas-kelas before this, Congratulations and thank you very much for supporting us. Untuk siapa yang baru uh, masuk kelas kami pada hari ini, so uh, Academy YouTuber Guru Malaysia in kencang uh, in uh, dengan kerjasama EDD as well as Kelab Guru Malaysia, uh, they have like suited up and come up with this amazing idea of an online tuition class. So for Monday, every Monday on 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. is English for primary school. So set your calendar. Temu janji kita tau. Setiap kali hari Isnin, tiga setengah petang kita dating kat sini tau. Okay? Okay? Alright, so um, without wasting any time, uh, I will pass the floor to our beloved Miss Ain. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Madam Zatusi, for a very lively introduction about myself. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Ain. Uh, how are you? I hope all of you are fine. I see all of you are eager to learn English with me, right? So, firstly, okay, let me um, say thank you to Academy YouTuber for giving me the chance to be live on YouTube uh, to uh, to teach English with all of you. Ah, so, and second of all, I would like to welcome boys and girls and teachers, parents who are live with us today. Uh, I hope everyone is excited to learn English with me. And then um, I would like to also say thank you for spending some time this very afternoon with me. Ah, jangan ngantuk-ngantuk ya. <laughs> Because we're going to have a very interactive lesson today. Ah, so for you, um, for those who want to chatting-chatting, you have to speak in English ah, so, so that we can practice our English. All right? So without wasting our time, let me show you the presentation okay okay it's already out can you see my powerpoint very pretty right so this is like the introduction um, of our lesson today welcome and thank you everybody okay look at these two um, cartoon down here watching YouTube while lying down Makan fries. Ada ke yang macam tu? <laughs> I hope everyone is eager. Eh? Uh, you are ready with your notebook. You are ready with your pen. Okay. And 
don't just leave your laptop like this guy here. Uh, you just open your YouTube and you go elsewhere. Uh, jangan. Stay in front of the computer and learn with me today. Okay. Uh, I saw some of my students are here. Thank you for supporting me. And yeah, let's start off. Before we start, I'm going to introduce the English teachers. Okay. These are um, gorgeous teachers, English teachers, and also handsome teachers. Uh, handsome teachers. Ah, yeah, handsome teachers. There are only two um, male teachers. So these teachers are going to take turns to do presentations. So I'm going to start off. Can you see? Where is Miss Ain? Boleh nampak? Ah, let's see. Ta-da! There you are. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Okay, let me introduce myself first. Eh? My name is Miss Ain. Okay, let me see. I'm an English teacher in SK Manjir Satu, Ipoh Perak. Anybody from Ipoh? Uh, you can chat. You can write down. Hello, Miss Ain. I'm uh, your name. And then I'm from SK. Uh, tell me your, your school so that I can see. Where are you guys from? Uh, okay. And I'm currently teaching year four and year six. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm the owner of Call Me Miss Ain channel. If you can see down there, that's my channel. Anybody has gone to my channel? Uh, I'm doing English content. So if anybody would love to learn English with me, feel free to visit my YouTube channel, okay? Call me Miss Ain. So you can call me Miss Ain. All right. Ah, uh, somebody from Ipo. I can see a few from Ipo. Pera. Yes. Hi. Very good. Okay. So now, uh, I'm going to share with you links for English lessons. Okay. Uh, the teachers that you saw earlier, we are um, we are dedicated to come up with English playlists. So we have for lower primary for year one, two, three. You can jot this down. Jot this down in your notebook or, okay, you can also use your phone. Sekarang canggih kan? To scan this code, scan this uh, QR code for you to get access to the playlist of um, English videos. Okay. Uh, next, for upper primary, year four, five, six, you can also jot down this link. Tulis dalam buku. Or you also can scan. Uh, scan your tip. And then you can get access of all the very interactive English lessons. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello, everybody. Okay. So never mind. If you didn't get the chance to, to um, scan or jot down, you can always come back to this video. Okay. All right. Next, huh, this is our lesson today, subject verb agreement. Okay, I'm going to straight away go into our lesson of the day. Eh? We're going to, uh, I'm going to introduce um, what is subject verb agreement and then we're going to, um, you know, we're going to um, answer a few questions. Okay, so look at that um, picture of mine down there. Uh, call me Miss Ain. That is my channel. So anything regarding English, I will put up in my channel. Okay. For now, I have a few um, grammar lessons and then there are also year four lessons. Okay. I will continue doing it if everybody supports me. All right. Next, I'm going to give you an overview. What are we going to learn today? The first one, I'm going to teach you what are subjects and verbs. Apa uh, tu subject? Apa tu verb? Some of you might already know this, but who, uh, we can always refresh our minds. What are subjects? What are verbs? Okay, next, I'm going into one as two, no as formula. Ah, look at this. I've already made this for all of you. This is a formula I want all of you to learn. One S. Two no S. One S. Two no S. What is that? Nanti kita belajar. Stay tuned. All right. One S, two no S. Next, 
Uh, we're going to identify errors in sentences. After I introduce you with the with the lesson or with the um, formula, I want all of you to identify the errors in the sentences. All right. Mm, next, the rules of SBA. That is the main part of our lesson today. And then we're going to look at a few examples. And last, yes, quiz time. So we're going to do quiz time and then we're going to look who, who gets all correct. Uh, so are you ready? I hope all of you are ready. Ah, everyone is uh, tell, uh, introducing yourself. Okay, oh, a few of my pupils there. All right. Uh, when you're, when all of you are enthusiastic, I will be the same too. I mean, like, nampak semangat semua nak belajar. Cikgu cikgu dekat Ayu pun lagi bertambah tambah semangat. So, we try to speak English, okay? You can type out English. Um, you can type using English. It's okay if, if you make mistake. We are learning as long as you try. Okay. Uh, let's start off with an overview. What is subject? What is verb? Okay. And what does it mean by subject verb agreement? Okay. Subject refers to nouns. I'm sure all of you have already learned nouns. Nouns refers to four things. Person, place, animal and things okay uh, person tu orang lah uh, man and girl steve child grandma grandpa nouns orang and then place animal and things and then there are also verbs verbs uh the first verbs here are action verbs or action words for example, what else? If you can type out, what are the verbs that you know? Kata kerja. For example here, what I have here, drive, drive, walk, ride, talk, jump. Okay, what other, uh, let me see, anything else? Verb that you know of. Kata kerja, apa dia lagi? Let me see. It's not clear. It's clear, right? Okay. And also, auxiliary verb. When are we using the be verb, the do verb, and also have verb? Okay, so the ones here, verbs and auxiliary verbs, have to agree with nouns. So that is when one as to know as comes. Okay? Uh, macam mana? Yes, run, cut, play, very good, sing, drink. Yes, good job, guys. Yes. Well done. Okay, next. This is the formula. This is the exciting part. Uh, I'm going to teach you the formula for you to be able to uh, use one as, uh, to use the subject verb agreement. It is called one as to no as. Okay, everyone, chant with me. One S, two no S. One S, two no S. Ah, apa yang one, apa yang S, apa yang two, apa yang no S. Apa tu? Ah, so I'm going to uh, teach you now. Okay, listen carefully, okay? One and two refers to the subject. Subject tu, seorang ke ramai. One person ke? Many. So that is the number one and two refers to. Okay? And S and no S refers to apa? Refer to whether we need to add S or not for the verb. Nak kena tambah S ke? Tak payah S. Okay, for example, kalau satu, if the verb is one, if, if the noun is one, for example, my mother. So for the verb, verb dia, you have to add S. My mother cooks. My mother sleeps. My mother runs. Ha, faham? Ha. If two, two ni tak semestinya, not necessarily be two. It is more than one. Two ke, three ke, four ke. 
But for the formula, I want you to remember two. Two need as long as more than one. Two, no S. For example, the boys. The boys, many kan, ramai kan. So don't put S there. For example, the boys run. The boys sleep. The boys cook. Tak ada S kat situ, okay? Do you get what I mean? Oh, I understand the formula. One S, two, no S. Very, very good. Mm -hmm, good job. Yes, one S, two, no S. So sebelum nak tidur ke, pergi mandi ke, one S, two, no S. One S, two, no S. Uh, so that you can remember that. Ah, lagu baru lah lepas ni. Yes. New song for you guys to remember. For them to remember it better, right, Madam Satuzi? Ah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, one S, two, no S. All right, next. Okay, this is like an overview what I taught you earlier. So let's go one by one. So when a sentence is about one person, we add S to the verb. One S. So the example is Sophie drops the pencil. So Sophie. Uh, one S, very good. Yes. You guys get it. Very good. One S. Sophie is one, right? Drop is the verb. So, verb, you have to add S. Sophie is one person. Drop, you have to add S for the verb. Sophie drops the pencil. Oh, you understand? Yes. All right. Good job. And the second example, the dog jumps on the chair. The dog, one, jumps on the chair. You cannot go, the dog jump on the chair. Uh, many of my pupils like to do that. What about your pupils, Madam Zatisi? What about your pupils? Do they have confusion about this? Yes, absolutely. Right. <laughs> so you get um, teachers out there who are watching this video, you might as well use this chant, one as to you know, as for them to remember this better. Okay, so you get there. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's easy, right? Huh. Ah, very, very easy. Good. <laughs> Next, let's look at if there are more than one. Uh, more than one, we use two. When a sentence is about more than one person, do not add S. So the formula is to no S. To no S. So the sample would be Adi and Adi, Adi and Beckett played outside. So more than two person. Adi and Beckett, two right or more than one lah. Play. Look at the word play here. Cannot add s. Adi and Beckett play outside. Ah, next example. The dogs. Ah, banyak dogs. We don't know how many dogs. So there are few dogs. The dogs jump on the table. Hmm, jump on the table. So dogs to no s jump. Don't add s there. Ah, the dogs jump on the table. All right. So now is the time for you to be interactive in the chat session. Uh, Madam Zatisi, you can help me uh, looking at the uh, look at the pupils who answer it correctly. All, All right. right. Uh, yes. Let's look at the first sentence here. Huda plan to go hiking next week. No, sorry. Next weekend. Ah, who can try to answer this? Uh, where or which word in this sentence is wrong? And what what is it supposed to be? Huh. Huda plan to go hiking next weekend. Anybody answer correctly, M Madam Moderator? Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, give them like two seconds to, to type out. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> oh, too, too fast. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Plans, yes, very good. Some of you got it right. Plans, why? Kenapa kena tambah S? Kenapa plans? Because Huda is one. One S, 
one. That's very good job. Huda plans to go hiking. Very good. You got it right. Okay. Are you ready for the next sentence? Ta-da! My mother always cooked chicken curry. My mother, okay, let's see. Mm, pointer pen, ha. Huh? So the first one, you have to add S here. Who that plans to go hiking? So what about the second one? Anybody got it right? Hmm, hikings? Hikings? Hmm, bukan hikings. Plans, this is the verb. This is the subject. Uh, okay. Look at the subject and verb. So my mother is the subject. Satu ke dua, one or two. So always ni, um, we disregard always. The verb is cook. So mother is one. One S, right? So cook. You have to add S. My mother always cooks. Yes. My mother always cooks chicken curry. Cooks. Oh, everybody got it right. Yeah, most of them got it right. Well, good, good job. job. Yes. All right. Let's see. Ten, uh, number three. Mm, a little bit different. The boys has arrived. The boys has arrived. Hmm. But has, do, is, M, R. Also, you can use one S to know S. I'm going to show you later. But first, can you type out which one is wrong in this sentence? Huh. Come going on. To, huh. I'm going to wait for a while for you to type out which one is wrong and what is it supposed to be? Oh yeah, I saw some of the some of them answered it already. Hat. Hat is past and we're talking about present, okay? It's either has or what? Yes, very good. Okay, so when I say one S, two no S, the boys, one or two. The boys, one or two. Two, right? So two no S. But see yeah, the S. So you have to change it to the boys have arrived. The boys have arrived. We're not mm -hmm. talking about past, eh? Uh, all right. And last one. Everybody are invited to the party tonight. Everybody are invited to the party tonight. One mistake over there. Uh, this is a bit tricky, but I'm going to go through it don't worry yeah this is a trick question <laughs> yes most of my students are also con got confused with this yeah <laughs> everybody okay let me see anybody answered it correctly everybody are invited to the party tonight what is wrong with that sentence is yes i got some uh yeah. correct yeah Oh, they're very good. <laughs> yes, everybody, even though everybody macam ramai kan? Oh, semua orang. But this is we call as, uh, what we call this as? Indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronoun, yes. Exactly, indefinite pronouns. So for indefinite pronouns, we refer them as one or singular. So if it is one, don't add uh, uh, one S. Oh, ni tak ada S pun. So, apa yang ada S? Is. Nampak ni S. Ada S kat situ. Uh, so, one S. Everybody is invited to the party tonight. Were. Wait. Were pula. This is present tense, sayang. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> present tense. Okay. Very good. Adik Miss Rina jawab, uh, she answered is. Good job. Very good. Eh, most of them got it right. Yeah, I mean, very good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now I'm going to go through a few uh, rules uh, very quickly because some of you, because most of you are already good. 
we're going to go quick go through quickly okay so the first rule is single single plural plural single single plural plural let's go straight away to the sentence so you have to remember one s two no s the monkey eats bananas ah uh, the monkey can we say check the monkey one ke two the monkey satu so you have to add s here one s one s the monkey eats bananas but if there are many oh ramai jawab is very good if there are many the monkeys tak tahu banyak banyak mana tapi we put two on top of it two no s so no s the monkeys eat bananas ah, all right very good okay faham you need the very basic rule Let's look. Let's try. All of you. She go ke? She goes to the bakery. She go ke? She goes to the bakery. Uh, we have this interactive um, uh, interactive session for you to answer. Okay? Now you try to answer, uh, write down your answer. Go ke? Goes. And why? Kenapa jawab macam tu? Find the clue. What is the clue? Uh, the clue is always refer to the subject. Uh, some of them have already answered it. Go. No, Natasha. Yeah, goes. Very good. <laughs> but some of you said go. Oh, mana boleh go? So find the clue. You have to look at the subject. Subject is she. So she won ke tu? Madam Satisi, she one or two? One. one. So what is the formula? One, one S. S. Two, two no, no S. S. Very good. So one S. Money are the S. Go ke goes. Go. So the answer is go. Siapa jawab betul? Yes. She goes to the bakery. Yes, most of them. <laughs> good job. Okay, next. Ah, baru terkeluar dia punya formula tu. Okay, next. They play or they play badminton at the court? They play or they play badminton at the court? Hmm. Look at the subject. Come on. Find the subject. Ada. Ada. Play, place. Oh, ada yang jawab play, ada yang jawab place eh. Ingat balik. One, mana ada tak formula kat sini? Ha, tu dah. Keluar. One, S, two, no S. Find the subject. They do one or two? Plural. Yes, plural. Very good. So, Very look at good. the subject. They. They is two. Bila two, we take this one. Two no S. So, jangan letak S. The answer is, what is the answer? Play. Siapa jawab betul? Yes, ramai jawab betul. Ha. Play. Ha. Write the thingy sikit. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, next. But watch out. Ha. Watch out. With I and you. Even though I, dengan you ni seorang, even though I and you are one person or one, they are special. Kenapa yeah. special? Mm, why? Because I, you cannot use this formula. I always know S. I always know S. Faham tak maksudnya? Tak boleh ada S. Contohnya, I do my homework myself. Uh, jangan... I does my homework myself. That is wrong. So I and you are special. I, you special. Ah. What about you? You eat the chicken burger. You eat the chicken burger. Okay. So you, walaupun you tu kita refer to awak, seorang, but special. Jangan you eat the chicken burger. That is wrong. You eat the chicken burger. All right. Get that? Do you get that? Rule number two, and this is very simple. But 
some of you are confused as well. You know why? Because you saw, oh, father, oh, father, seorang. Ah, you have to read the whole sentence. Okay. So, my mother and father. Berapa orang tu? Two ke one? Two, right? Two, no S. So, look at the verb here. Tak ada S pun. Ah, got it. Very good. So, my mother and father sleep at 10 p.m. Very easy, this one. Shahira and Zawiya talk loudly. So, you don't, jangan ambil satu orang je. Oh, Shahira je. Uh, you have to read the whole sentence. Shahira and Zawiya talk loudly. Two, right? More than one. So, the verb, no S. Okay, very easy. So, let's try. Kamil and his sister fight ke fights every day. Two. Okay, very good. So answer answer this question. Kamil and his sister fight or fights every day. Sleep. Eh, ni tu mana pula ni? Kamil and his sister. Okay, let's go. Kamil. Am I going too fast? <laughs> and the moderator, am I going too oh, fast? Sorry. <laughs> No, it's okay. I think the kids are getting it really, really fast today. Very good. Oh, really? Okay, then. So, let's just go uh, move on. Kamil and his sister. Okay. One or two? Let me write it down. Two, right? Two. Two, S ke two, no S? Two, no S. So, the answer is fight. Ah, Kamil and his sister to no as fight every day. All right. Yes. Um, and Mili and Mira like or like to eat chocolate. Again, look at the look subject. at the subject. One or two. Two to no as. So the answer is like. Ili and Mira like to eat chocolate cake. Ah, very good. All right. Next, let's see. Verb to be. This is very easy. Uh, verb to be, uh, there are three for present tense. Eh? But um, let's see. Uh, macam mana kita nak buat ni? For verb to be, the upper part here, Fadli is dancing. That is uh, present tense. And she was dancing yesterday, past tense. But still, you have to look at the subject. Uh, one. Fadli is one, right? And she also one, right? So, one S. So, the verb must be the S, ni. So, Fadli is dancing. Same goes for past tense. She was. Ada S kat sini. One S. She was Dancing yesterday. Okay. Let's see. All right. Got that right. Going to go through. Next. What about two? The boys are eating cakes. The boys are eating cake. Tak ada S, eh? And the boys were eating cakes just now. So, the boys, two, right? To no S, right? So, R and were. Tak ada S. You use R and were. All right. So, next. M. Uh, M special. M is only for I. Ada I is eating cakes. Tak ada. I are eating cakes pun tak ada. I am eating cakes. I was eating cakes just now. Okay. For I, I ni memang special. So, you have to remember. All right, Max. Now you try. I was eating durian ke? I was eating durian. I was eating durian. I were eating durian. Hmm. Hmm. What is hmm. it? <laughs> Remember, I is special. Subject is I. One. 
Oh, but this one you can use. You can apply one S to no S. So the answer is. Ada yang betul tak? Okay, yes, very good. Right. Yeah, very good. Good, right? <laughs> the answer is was. Ah, the answer is I was eating durian. And Shafiq and Fadil again two. Two. Two subjects. Ah, uh, use this to no s. So the answer is walk. Okay. Shafiq and Fadil walk to the shop. All right. Let's see. Lagi tak? Okay, never mind. This one is would be the same. Verb to do. What are verb to do? Siapa tahu verb to do? Ada dua. Ada, okay, past tense dia D. But the present tense, there are two. Verb to do. Okay, let's just go. Does. Verb to do. Ada do dengan does. So, macam biasa, you have to apply one S to no S. So, for this word, he. One or two? One, right? So, one S. Look, the verb ada S. He does not understand the question. Bukan he do not understand. He does not understand the question. Okay, one S. Oh, if there are two, atau many, they. They, no S. No S, two no S. So, they do not understand the question. Okay. This is the past tense form. Past tense form, dia tak kira. One person ke, two person ke, sejuta pers people ke kan, tak kisah. Uh, you use did. Tak ada do does, tak ada beza. Tak ada did. Nanti tak wujud. <laughs> okay. One person pun did. Many pun did. He did not understand the question. They did not understand the question. All right. And let's try one one uh, example. He do not know him. Ataupun he does not know him. Which one is the right answer? Remember the formula one s two no s. So find the subject first. Look at the subject. What is the subject? He. He is one. So the answer is he does not know him. Siapa jawab betul ni? He does. He do. Ada yang jawab, jawab do? Nak kena marah. He does not know him. He seorang kan? Kan misalnya cakap one S. So he ni satu orang. Ada S. He does not know him. Uh, okay. Most of you uh, answered does. Very good. Okay, let's see. It's okay. This one, we just going to skip. Verb to have. Verb to have pun ada dua. He has a cat. Ada S. I just want all of you to understand that one S, apa-apa pun, one, he, right? He is one person has a cat. One S. So, to, verbs to have to add S. He has a cat. But, kalau many, they, mereka. They have cats. They have cats. Okay. Faham? Uh, jap. Okay. Ramai jawab betul ni. Ramai faham. Okay, next. Okay, past tense tak ada masalah. Macam just like do verb just now. For one or for many, they use did. Same as verbs to have. For past tense, you use had. He had a cat. They had cats. Okay. Tak kira lah one person ke, many ke. You, for past tense, you use had. Okay. All right. And, okay, let's try one, one question. I have a beautiful sister or I has a beautiful sister. I is special, okay? 
he had a cat. Okay. Mm, let me see. I have a beautiful sister, ke? I has. I has a beautiful sister. Has. Yeah, I is special. I is special. So, you have, the answer is I have. Eh, I lah. <laughs> Confused. I have a beautiful sister. So, the answer is have. Siapa jawab betul? Good job, Nor Hazi. Good job. Uh, yeah. Bagus. Very good. Okay. Okay, one more. Let's try one more. These muffins has or have a lot of raisins in it. Muffins lah, muffin. Ah, muffin. Lapor pula. <laughs> These muffins has or have a lot of raisins. So, um, subject ni doesn't necessarily be people. Macam ni things, benda, makanan kan? Oh, ada orang jawab has. Okay, tengok balik, tengok balik. Muffins. Sekatul muffin, two muffins, three muffins. Many, right? If many, the answer is, uh, the, the subject is two. Ah, so, remember this formula. Two. Oh, ramai jawab has ni. <laughs> two no S, I am. Two no S. So, the answer is have. These muffins have a lot of raisins in it. Okay. Has. Oh, ramai jawab has ni. <laughs> okay. These muffins. Muffins banyak. Uh, two. No S. Mana boleh letak S kat sini. So, these muffins have a lot of raisins in it. Alright. Okay. Okay, this one is the same. It's okay. Ah, uh, This one. I just, I want you to really focus on this one. Indefinite pronouns. Macam, uh, just like what we answered in the earlier part where we find the errors, right? So, words like somebody, nobody, everybody, someone, no one, everyone. All these um, indefinite pronouns, we use one as. We refer them as one. Uh, we use S. We use S for their verb. Okay, faham tak? Okay. Okay, Somebody. can I like interrupt a little bit? Yes, sure, go on. Okay. To, no, just a reminder to all the boys and girls out there yang ada tengah tengok live ni, tengah chatting tu. If you want your comment to be up on the screen, macam kawan-kawan yang lain tu kan, ha, nampak tu. Ha, so you need to change your profile. Kena ada profile picture lah. Gambar yang cantik-cantik. Semua nak tengok kan ha, ha, adik-adik yang handsome and very beautiful tu kan. So uh, if you want your comment to be up on the screen, please put a profile picture to your email account. Alright? Okay. Uh, yes, yes, correct. So that everyone in Malaysia or orang dekat Amerika hmm. ke yang tengok ni. Yes, <laughs> the world. Your face. Uh, the world can see your face. <laughs> Be proud of your face. Eh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put your uh, profile picture so that we know. Oh, ini ke dia? Ha. All right. Okay, so indefinite pronouns. Go back to this um, slide. Eh? We use singular verb. Oh, ada one more. Sorry, nothing. Okay, so remember, siapa yang ada buku tu boleh tulis. Somebody, nobody, no one, use singular verb. Faham tak? Kalau tak faham, kita tengok example. Let's look at the example. Indefinite pronouns. Okay. Nobody listens to me. Uh, nobody listens to me. We use S. Okay. Nobody. And then everybody pula. Nobody's. Macam, oh tak ada orang. Mungkinlah guna S. But all of this, even nobody ke, everybody ke, somebody ke, we refer that as indefinite pronouns. So we use one S. So everybody has problems. Nothing is permanent. Someone does not understand the instruction. Uh, faham? Faham tak? Sengok sikit. Faham tak? Okay, faham. Yes, I understand. Right. Kalau tulis faham, bahasa Melayu kalau bahasa Inggeris, I understand. Bukan I understand eh. I understand. 
Uh, so we learn English uh, with me. Okay, so I understand. If you understand, you can write down. I understand, Miss Aina. Okay, and okay. Now let's try. Someone is at the door, ke? Someone are at the door. Someone is at the door. Someone are at the door. Remember, all these words are you have to use one s, one s kan. Mm -hmm. So the answer is someone one. You are uh, the answer is. Let me see. Let me see. Anybody got it right? All right. Some of you answered is. Is very yeah. Good. Very good. Yes. The answer is is. Someone is at the door. Someone is yeah. at the door. Yes. Okay. Let's let's look at. Everybody, huh? Tadi someone. Ini everybody pula. What Nampak do you think the answer? Some, some might think, think that this is a lot of people, right? <laughs> everybody. Oh, mungkin too good. But remember hmm. what I said. Indefinite pronouns. Everybody is having a good time. Or everybody are having a good time. Huh. Which one? Everybody. Which one? So this is the subject. One. Okay. Although everybody, how Miss Encik tadi, uh, it refers to indefinite pronoun. The answer is jeng 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 jeng. Yes, most of them answered it correctly. Yes. Yes. Everybody Ooh. is having a good time. All right. And let's see. Last one, any uh, verb of frequency, any pun, uh, some of you got it uh, confused. You just disregard all these words, eh? Kalau ada, I usually verb, I rarely, uh, she rarely verb. You disregard all these adverbs of frequency. Maksudnya, dia tak mengganggu pun. It doesn't interfere with the verbs that you choose. Uh -huh. uh, usually, rarely, seldom. Sometimes, never, always. So, my father usually comes home after work. So, my father, ini macam buat-buat tak nampak je. Biar je, dia tak, uh, usually tu maknanya selalu kan. But you have to refer to the subject. Subject. Ah. So, my father one, the, uh, the, the what we call this the verb one as right so my father comes home after work all right same goes as we sometimes play football on the weekend we sometimes play football on the weekend sometimes we disregard takpe we we play kenapa we play we too no S. Tak ada S. Right? Okay. Uh, never mind. Nanti kita nak buat quiz lah. Tak apa. Ni biar dulu. And last one. Last rule. Collective. Collective nouns. Collective noun tu contohnya a group, a committee, a herd, a team, the family, a bunch. Okay? All of this kita refer as singular verb. Okay, contohnya, the team practices hard before the final match. So, team tu, kita refer as one unit. So, that is why, even though team, kita refer it as one unit, there are the S kat sini. The team practices hard before the final match. Our family, bukan kita refer sorang-sorang-sorang. We refer them as a unit, right? Uh, family ni kadang-kadang, um, we uh, look at the sentence. For example, this one, our family enjoys eating at this restaurant. So, our family is, refers to one unit, one S, kena ada S. Both of the sentences kena ada S. All right? Okay. Okay, never mind. We're going to do the quiz later. Mm -hmm. And I think that is all for, um, for, for, for the rules, eh? I hope all of you can understand. Do you understand, boys and girls? 
Yes, Miss Ain, I understand. I want quiz. I want to quiz, ah. <laughs> I want to quiz, quiz. teacher. <laughs> quiz now, okay. Okay, before we uh, close, okay, this is the final, uh, this is the quiz. Okay, ada dua cara. Um, the, my friend will put the link at the chat session. You can click it. Okay, boleh letak dekat uh, chat session the word wall.net ni. Or siapa yang tengok guna handphone, guna cap, guna TV, you can use mark, pinjam handphone, scan saja dekat situ. Scan. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now scan. It will go to word wall, word wall punya link. Okay. You can do. Then later I can see the the results instantly. Siapa dapat nombor satu? Write down the your your name. Let's see, eh. Contoh, eh. Misalnya, contoh. Uh, sekejap. Uh, mana contoh dia? Okay, let's see. Kat sini. Okay. You will go when you click at the link. Boleh ke? Dah ada ke link tu? Haa, nampak yang misalnya tulis mana ada, ada. Mana, mana tu. Ada dah, eh. And then you will go straight to subject verb agreement punya ni. You can write your name and you can uh, write your school name pun boleh. Tulis nama siapa? Amina from which school? Oh nak tengok link ah ni. Nak tengok dia punya ni. QR code. QR code. Okay, quiz time, quiz time. Let's see. I'm going to give 10 soalan je. There are only 10 questions. Okay. Ah yes, that one. Click on the blue link there. Tekan. Ah, huh? you want to play what? Do this quiz first. Do this quiz, okay? So that you I can see um how many of you can understand what I'm teaching today. We still have 10 minutes left. It's only 4:20. Okay? A time flies so fast. I right. try. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Okay, never mind. I just want all of you to uh, answer the quiz. Are you doing the quiz now? Yes? Do it now. Yes, do it now. You can do it now. I can straight away see the result if you have answered it. Let me see. I can refresh this. Uh, as for now, nobody answered. Oh, 10 of you have already wow. answered. Oh, what? So, so fast. Can look, at the look at your name. Uh, let me see. Numbers. Okay. As for now, these are the 10 pupils that have already answered my questions. And three of you got all correct. Good, good job. All correct in a very minimum time. Only less than a minute you answered it. It's very easy, right? I do the quiz now. Yes, please do the quiz now. Let's see. I will refresh it uh, a few times so that you can see whether your names are up here. Okay. Can you see your name? Uh, Adam Zarif. Shout out to Adam Zarif, Anita and Nor Anis Inshira. Very good. All correct. Uh, let me refresh one more time. Fifty-three students wow. answered it. <laughs> Good job. Well done, everybody. And twelve got it all correct. Twelve students. Hmm? Twelve for you. <laughs> Come on, guys. One S, two no S. This chain will haunt you. <laughs> Miss Ayn, can we say that S doesn't want a friend with another S? Oh, yes, that is a very good <laughs> approach as well, right? Yeah, so, so if the subject doesn't have S, then S can main-main lah. But if the subject already have S, then they uh -huh. tak mau dah another S. So, they tak mau dah S. Very nice approach. Do you understand, guys, <laughs> boys and girls? If the subject has S, dia dah ada S dah. What pun nak S lagi? Um, tak mau kawan. Why? S tak kawan dengan S. <laughs> yes, S tak nak kawan dengan S. So dah ada dekat subjek, dekat verb tak payah S dah. Very good, yes. 
<laughs> All right, let's see. Anybody else? Few more, few more times before I give all of you the link. Eh, semua nak tunggu link kan? Link sijil kan? Okay, 173 students. Wow. Alah, yang yeah. tengok ni 500 lebih. Mana lagi yang lain? It's okay. You can straight, you can go back to the video. Nanti, you can go back to the video and look at this uh, link. You can answer. You can pass this to your friends yang tak dapat tengok main hari ni kan. Nah, main so, quiz ni. Can I answer more than one time, Miss Aya? Yes, yes, you can. You can answer until everything is correct. <laughs> okay, let me see who got all right and with the fastest time. Uh, I hope the line is cooperative. <laughs> okay, wow, 244 wow, students. 100, yeah. The fastest is Noor Alisha Bakis. Let me see. Ah, uh, this 37 seconds saja. Ah. Oh, dahsyat. Dahsyat. <laughs> Look at your name. Noor Alisha Balkis, Akisha, Mary. Mana student Miss Ain ni nak tengok. Ah, <laughs> uh, can you see your names? Boleh nampak nama masing-masing. Oh, ramai. Thank you guys. Terharu Miss Ain. Tak tidur petang ni kan? Ah, <laughs> uh, Look at your name. Mana nama yang Miss Ain kenal ya? Eh? Wah ramai, ramai. Very good. Tapi Miss Ain tak tahu dari sekolah mana. It's okay. As long as you got it right. Yang ni dah enam saja betul. Lima saja betul. Cari nama, cari nama. Nombor berapa? Uh, eh, satu je betul. <laughs> tak apa. Cuba lagi. Cuba lagi dan lagi dan lagi sampai dapat semua betul. Alright. Okay, I believe mm, that is all I think. Okay, let me refresh last time before I finish off the session. Boleh tak kita tengok who got all right, all correct. Hmm. Sabar, dia tengah generate. Ramai sangat jawab ni. Ah, 337 students and dah tukar dah tadi. Tadi orang lain kan? Ah, ni tengok. Fatin Hana binti Muhammad Firdaus SK Setiawangsa. Good job guys and I believe that is all from me today. Okay, I hope all of you can understand the lesson today and you can pass this video to your friends yang uh, tak sempat tengok petang ni. You can watch it at night. Uh, pagi ke bila-bila free for you to yeah. revise, right? Hmm. Just come back to to Miss Ain channel. You can watch it anytime. You can repeat watching the lesson again if you cannot understand the first time. No worries. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, I believe I can pass this to uh, the moderator for the all the links that they have supposed to uh, the oh. certificate and all. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So thank right. you very much to our very beautiful presenter, Miss Ain. And you can right now you can see on the screen there's a link for the CJL and also it will be put in the chat section, right? Yeah. And click cepat cepat click so that you will get this uh, certificate for this class. But make sure when you type your name, please make sure that the spelling is correct because kita tak nak sijil dengan nama orang lain, tu ya tak? Sekejap nak type Amirah ke, jadi Aminah ke, jadi Zabedah ke, masalah pula kan? Alright, so uh, if you like this lesson, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below to and subscribe to Call Me Miss Ain, which is Miss Ain's channel. And if you don't want to miss out any video from Miss Ain, uh, Miss Ain dia buat juga tau content English lesson on her channel. So uh, bukan yang ni je, ada banyak sangat lagi. So if you don't want to miss out, please click the bell button also. Uh, ring the bell, ring the bell. And <laughs> that man trust me, all Miss Ain punya video memang sangat awesome. I've seen all of them. Uh, boleh kenal Thank dengan you. Mini kan? Boleh kenal dengan Mini. Lagi siapa? Yes, Bobo is yes. it? Bobo. There are, Bobo. Few friends. Ha. There are few friends that you would like to see yang comel-comel semua macam cikgu dia. <laughs> ha. 
Okay, so uh, one, uh, once again, reminder, link sijil telah diberi. Don't forget to click on the link dekat chat. And also you can look at the screen ha, and then you can pergilah dekat link tersebut and get your sijil. Rugi tak ambil, rugi. Kelas tuition tak ada bagi sijil. Kelas ini je bagi sijil. Bukan biasa-biasa guys. Ha. 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 Level. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so thank you from all of us here for watching this lesson. Hopefully you guys can understand this. Macam penerangan tu, I think it's quite simple already. Remember the formula, what is it? Chant with us. One, One S, S, two, no S. No S. Ha, remember? <laughs> Boleh nyanyi lepas ni, dalam nak tidak nyanyi tapi baca doa pun jangan lupa lah. Tapi sebelum tu, what S, two no S, what S, two no S. Alright, yeah. and then kalau tak ingat juga, ingat yang kalau S tak mau kawan dengan S. So dia tak sombong hmm. lah macam dia sombong. S, sombong. Okay, so up to you yang mana korang rasa macam very easy for you to remember then as long as you are able to use it then Good job already. Tadi pun memang tengok dia orang ni semua okey kan? Awesome, awesome gila. Banyak yang nampak cawak betul. Kan? Ha. It's a very, very good. Hebat lah, hebat, hebat, hebat. Uh -huh. <laughs> so English is actually very easy. It's just you need more practice, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so. Well, I think it's time for us to sign off. Anybody wants to say a few words, Miss Ayn? Um, I just want to say thank you and good job. Keep on learning English. Don't give up and just use the language, okay? And thank you again for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Ustaz Mu'alim Hazar, anybody uh, uh, would like to say a word? Cakap apa-apa ucapan? Okay. Uh... okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much to all of you for joining <laughs> us today. And don't forget to fill up the the borang eh, the borang the sijil kan? The sijil. <laughs> okay, that is why kalau kalau tak sempat nak klik uh, link sijil tadi tu, uh -huh. uh, nanti Miss Ain akan uh, letakkan link sijil tu pada bahagian uh -huh. komen, pada, pada bahagian pin Bahagian komen. pin kan? Uh, nanti uh -huh. ada semua dia nampak kat pin komen tu, just klik dan dengan segera eh, yes, dengan segera. segera. Seberapa yang segera. Sebab kita ada limit master untuk mengisi uh, sijil tu. Okay, okay Cik Guru Maino, cakap sikit. Okay, nak, nak speaking kan ni? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, boleh. Okay, to, to everybody, congratulations. Okay, uh, jangan lupa, uh, lepas ni kita ada banyak lagi kelas-kelas yang lain. Uh, jangan lupa juga ikuti uh, kelas uh, di Akademi Youtuber. Okay, pastikan semua uh, update eh. Uh, kelas-kelas uh, yang akan datang. Okay. InsyaAllah kita akan, uh, yang penting, yang penting eh. Yang penting apa? Yang penting is all that free. Ah. Yes. Oh. Everything is free. Okay. <laughs> it's all this thing is for you. It's awesome guys. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, jangan lupa juga kalau nak berkenalan dengan saya, ah, uh, pergilah cari tarik nama saya tu kalau ada. Okay. Uh, don't forget me, don't forget me. Don't forget ah, terima kasih. Sebelah. Okay, terima kasih. Okay, thanks for watching and thanks for your time. Okay, see you again. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye.